Have you ever pondered the intricate interplay between freedom and equality? It's a topic that has puzzled philosophers, thinkers, and dreamers throughout the ages. Solzhenitsyn once said, Human beings are born with different capacities. If they are free, they are not equal. And if they are equal, they are not free. This profound statement invites us to reflect upon the paradoxical relationship between these two ideals that lie at the heart of human existence. Let's begin by unraveling the notion that human beings are born with different capacities. Each of us enters this world with a unique blend of talents, abilities, and potential. Some possess remarkable intellects, while others excel in physical prowess or artistic expression. Our diverse capacities shape the paths we tread and the contributions we make to society. But here's the twist. Solzhenitsyn suggests that true freedom cannot coexist with absolute equality. This challenges the conventional notion that freedom and equality are inseparable bedfellows. In a society where individuals are genuinely free to pursue their dreams, ambitions, and aspirations, they inevitably diverge in their achievements and outcomes. The pursuit of freedom inherently leads to differences in opportunities, wealth, and social standing. On the other hand, when society aims to impose absolute equality, freedom becomes curtailed. In the quest for an equal playing field, individual liberties are often sacrificed to level the proverbial playing ground. The constraints placed on personal freedom may come in the form of excessive regulations, restrictions on speech, or redistributive policies. In such a scenario, equality reigns, but the flame of freedom flickers. Now, you might be wondering, can't we find a balance between freedom and equality? Is it an all-or-nothing equation? The answer lies in the complex nature of human society. Striking a delicate balance between freedom and equality is a perpetual challenge, one that requires constant recalibration as societal norms, values, and circumstances evolve. But here's the fascinating part. Solzhenitsyn's words provoke us to question the very essence of freedom and equality. Are they truly antithetical, or can they be reconciled in a harmonious dance? Perhaps it's time to reimagine our definitions and interpretations of these concepts. Imagine a world where freedom is not just about individual pursuits, but about empowering every individual to reach their fullest potential. Where equality is not just about redistributing resources, but about ensuring equal access to opportunities and essential services. A world where freedom and equality walk hand in hand, nurturing one another rather than being at odds. In this reimagined world, Freedom thrives when it embraces inclusivity and social justice. It flourishes when it recognizes the inherent worth and dignity of every human being. And equality thrives when it respects and celebrates the unique talents, perspectives, and contributions of individuals. Solzhenitsyn's words beckon us to embark on a journey of introspection and dialogue. They challenge us to question the status quo and envision a society that transcends the conventional dichotomy between freedom and equality. As we navigate the labyrinthine corridors of human existence, let us not succumb to simplistic dichotomies. Let us dare to explore the possibility of a world where freedom and equality coexist, enriching our lives and society as a whole. In closing, let us embrace the complexity of Solzhenitsyn's words and embark on a quest to redefine freedom and equality in a way that resonates with our shared humanity. Together, we can build a world that harmonizes the beautiful diversity of human capacities while nurturing the flame of freedom and the spirit of equality.